قد نرى تقلب وجهك في السماء فلنولينك قبلة ترضاها فول وجهك شطر المسجد الحرام وحيث ما كنتم فولوا وجوهكم شطرة وإن الذين أوتوا الكتاب ليعلمون أنه الحق من ربهم وما الله بغافل عما يعملون تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا السلام عليكم and welcome to another episode of the Quranic Sira in the previous episode, we spoke about some of the significant events that occurred in the first year after the Hijrah, namely the constitution of Medina. In today's episode, we'll be discussing one of the main things that happened in the second year after the Hijrah. The Muslims have now been in Medina for over a year. Islam is on the rise. The Muslims are prospering. There's no longer the fear and persecution that came with Makkah. People are now accepting Islam without worry of being harmed. But with this comes new challenges. For the first time ever, the potential of nifaq arises. The potential for people to become hypocrites. Those that outwardly are Muslim, but inside they hate the Prophet and the Muslims. One of the reasons for this is that before the arrival of the Prophet to Medina, they were set up to have a new leader and he had a following. When the Prophet was announced to be the new leader, this group will eventually come to accept Islam whilst having resentment against the Prophet There's also the community of the Yehud, three Jewish tribes that had migrated and settled in Medina awaiting the final Prophet. But when they saw he was an Arab, they vowed to oppose him and fight him because of their racism. And this became clear on the day that the Qibla changed. The Prophet ﷺ and the previous Prophets had prayed towards Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. In Makkah, the Prophet ﷺ was able to pray facing the Kaaba and Al-Aqsa at the same time. But in Medina, the Prophet ﷺ had his back facing the Kaaba whilst he was praying towards Al-Aqsa. And this grieved him greatly because he had so much love for the Kaaba. So he raised his face towards the sky and without verbalizing his grief, Allah reveals, قَدْ نَرَاتَ قَلُّبَ وَجَهِكَ فِي السَّمَاءِ We have certainly seen you turn your face towards the sky. And we will give you a Qibla that you are pleased with. One of the reasons for the changing of the Qibla towards the Kaaba was to make the Prophet ﷺ happy. And this begins the onslaught of mocking by the Jews. They would say things like, what kind of religion is this? One day they pray this way and the next day they pray another way. It's important to note that the Jews of Medina were looked up to by his people. They were a people of literature, they were people of scripture, they were people of gold and wealth and architecture. So for some of the newer Muslims who had been around the Jews all of their lives, their words held weight. They then said, Piety is that you face towards Al-Aqsa as all of the previous Prophets did before. And Allah reveals, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا وَجُوهَكُمْ قِبْلَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ Piety is not based on the way that you face, but it's based on your aqidah, your creedal beliefs, and a manifestation of those beliefs through your actions such as charity, salah, fulfilling your promises and being patient upon difficulty. And this frustrated the Jews even more as it solidified them no longer being the chosen people. So they continued their mocking. Allah says this was very difficult for some people except those who he has guided. Ibn Abbas explains why this was so difficult. This is the first time that the concept of nasq or abrogation has occurred where Allah gives a ruling and then changes it. Allah explains the concept of abrogation in the Quran. He says, ما ننسخ من آية أو ننسيها نأتي بخير من Allah does not abrogate a verse or cause it to be forgotten except that he gives something better or similar to it. So we mentioned one of the reasons for the change of the Qibla was to make the Prophet happy. Allah gives us another reason also. He says, Allah wanted to make evident those who would follow the messenger and those who would turn away. And at tabri mentions that some of the newer Muslims who were not yet firm on their faith and looked up to the Jews, they would regurgitate the words of the Jews. But that was the absolute minority of them. The majority heard and they obeyed. This reminds me of an example of one Sahabi who prayed with the Prophet ﷺ facing the Kaaba. He then returns to his local masjid for the next Salah and he sees the people are still praying towards Al-Aqsa. So he says, Oh people, I was just with the Prophet ﷺ and we were praying towards the Kaaba. So the entire congregation turned around and immediately started praying towards the Kaaba. And this masjid then became known as Masjid Qiblatain. The Masjid of Two Qiblas. And this brings us to the reflections of this episode. Some of the Sahaba asked the Prophet ﷺ, what will happen to our salah that we pray towards Al-Aqsa? And Allah reveals Quran. Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُضُيعَ إِيمَانَكُمْ We will not allow your iman to go to waste. Allah equates salah with iman. And this is a very important reminder for us to neglect salah. It's never too late to turn back to Allah. And secondly, this episode was about the Qibla, direction. For every Muslim, we should have a direction for our lives and that should be founded upon the Quran. Whatever we seek to achieve, the foundations of it should be based on the Quran. And that's all for this episode. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you consider subscribing? Leave a like, 
Comment down below and share. Jazakumullah khair.